At our convocation today, we will recognize our graduate and undergraduate students who have completed work in the summer and fall of 2023. We will begin this morning by singing the OU chant. Please stand and join us in the singing of the OU chant. I am very pleased to introduce Dr. Stacy Reeder, Dean of the Janine Rainbow College of Education. Good morning. I want to begin with congratulations to all our graduates here today, as well as their families, friends, and loved ones in attendance and those watching online. I would also like to welcome a special guest joining us today, Chancellor Emeritus Glenn Johnson, seated here at the end. Chancellor Emeritus Johnson is the former chancellor of the Oklahoma State System of Higher Education, where he served from 2007 through 2020, and we're pleased to have him uh, join us today. On behalf of the faculty and staff of the Janine Rainbolt College of Education, we have enjoyed working with you and becoming part of your lives. You have overcome significant challenges to get to this day. We are so glad to be here with you today celebrating your accomplishments. As you leave OU, you are entering a profession where you can have a positive impact every day on the lives of your students, clients, coworkers, their families, and communities. It is an enormous responsibility and a tremendous honor, but we know you are ready. While in some ways today marks the end of a long journey, it also represents new beginnings. The work you begin after today is representative of the broad impact of the college beyond Collings Hall. While at OU completing your degree, some of you continue to work full-time in schools, higher education, and other professional settings, while others have been part of our tutoring programs in surrounding communities and in schools, you may have been part of OU Giving Day or out in schools with a paintbrush in hand for big event. Maybe you handed out a book as a part of our homecoming parade and sparked the love, a love of reading in a child. These acts of service and your work, the work we do as a college, and the work you will do as graduates, uh, our graduates in your chosen professions, is an investment that will pay positive impacts for generations to come. What we do as educators and professionals is about building community to make a world that works for and supports everyone. Your classrooms and workspaces need to be places of belonging for all students and people as you continually strive to foster understanding and empathy for others. I encourage you to engage your work and the students and people you encounter authentically with empathy. Hear their voices honor their presence, and you will create possibility and you will make a difference. It is my hope for you that when you go into teaching, school leadership, higher education, counseling, or whatever you do, that you work every day to help build a world that is inclusive and works for everyone. Getting to this day was not easy. I know a lot of sacrifices had to be made to accomplish this goal. And because of that, I know you realize how important it is to continue to share your talent and your knowledge in the years to come. 
I also hope you will continue to stay connected with us, whether it is uh, attending a lecture, taking part in a professional development, or perhaps just stopping by for Tuesday afternoon for Tuesday tea when you know the popcorn machine is popping and tea is being poured. You're always welcome. You always have a community you can turn to in us. It is a rare graduate whose success has not been encouraged and supported by family, friends, and mentors. If you are a parent or guardian, a spouse or partner, a grandparent, a son or daughter, extended or good friends, uh, or a mentor of a graduate today, can you please stand and let our graduates thank you. We are proud of the fact that our graduate and professional programs are recognized as some of the best in the country. And that's a tribute to our outstanding faculty, staff, and students. And I'd like to ask the faculty who have joined us this morning to stand and be recognized for their dedication to our programs and to our students and for their outstanding contributions to the university at large. Faculty. We are extremely proud of all of our graduates today and equally proud um, of the outstanding faculty, staff, family, friends, and mentors who helped them achieve this important milestone. Uh, before I move on, I also want to recognize the College of Education staff members who help create the environment in which our students can learn, grow, and succeed. May we please recognize the dean staff, individual department staff, graduate program staff and undergraduate advising office for their support of our students. Most of them are around this room working today or behind the scenes. So if you're in here, please stand and be recognized. We certainly know that it takes all of us to help everyone meet these milestones. So I want to end with saying congratulations to the class of 2003. I look forward to seeing you and hearing about everything you accomplish in the years to come. Congratulations. And now we will recognize those completing their bachelor's degrees with academic distinction. This semester, 39% of our bachelor's graduating class will be graduating with distinction. This means they have distinguished themselves by attaining high GPAs during their bachelor's program. You will recognize them by their gold hoods. Degrees awarded with special distinction are students who have earned a 3.90 or above combined retention GPA with a minimum of 60 hours taken here at OU. We ask the following individuals graduating with special distinction to please stand and remain standing until all names have been called. Please hold your applause till the end. Jack Lilliquest. Jack is also recognized as a 4.0 medallion winner. JC Doyle Lackley. Thank you. Degrees awarded with distinction are students who have earned a 3.60 to 3.89 combined retention GPA with a minimum of 60 hours taken here at OU. We ask the following individuals graduating with distinction to please stand and remain standing until all names have been called. Please hold your applause till the end. Anna Darrow, Katherine Evans, Caitlin Horton, Sarah LaSalle, Hannah Ramirez, Courtney Turman, Chastity Waldo. Thank you. We are continuing a tradition this year in the Janine Rainbow College of Education of having the fall convocation address delivered by a graduate student. This year, the honor belongs to Kayla Lehman. 
Kayla is graduating today with a master's degree in instructional leadership and academic curriculum with an emphasis in mathematics education and graduated with her bachelor's degree from the University of Oklahoma in May of 2022. As a first-generation college student, she graduated summa cum laude and was honored as the Mathematics Education Intern of the Year. During her time in the graduate program, she engaged herself in experiences at the high school level with the College of Education's Transformative Tutoring Initiative and the elementary level as a math specialist. Now, she is an Algebra II teacher in Greenville, South Carolina, changing lives with the power of kindness. Please welcome to the podium, Kayla Lehman. Family, friends, faculty, staff, and most importantly, graduates, welcome. I'm honored to be speaking to you today. My name is Kayla Lehman, and I am graduating with a master's degree in instructional leadership and academic curriculum in math ed. My fellow graduates, congratulations. I am very, very proud of each and every one of you. You have worked very diligently to get to the spot that you are today. I'm very proud of you. I know this journey was full of obstacles and opportunities for each of us. I'm a first-generation college student. Pursuing higher education felt very exciting, but also made me feel very pressured. I worried that I was never doing my best and feared I did not belong with the people surrounding me. As an undergraduate, I felt defeated as I experienced the pandemic and all of the complications that came with it. As I worked through the education program during virtual school, I was worried that education might not actually be for me. I thought I had to develop my very own curriculum and build an entire year's worth of material from scratch. Luckily, Dr. Kate Raymond was there to help me understand that a good teacher does teach well-thought, beautiful lessons, but an ideal teacher begins by showing unconditional love and support for the students making up our classrooms. For me, everything turned around once I became a student teacher. Student teaching helped me decide to be the best teacher I could because my passion for the students I met and worked alongside helped me grow my passion for teaching. Kat Rainwater, who is earning a bachelor's degree in instructional leadership and academic curriculum today, says that education means providing opportunities to all students. Education is empowerment. Teachers provide students the opportunity to be empowered. As you walk the stage today, some of you are transitioning from student to educator. How rewarding. You now hold a new power to be somebody, someone, to empower them, to turn a student's story around, the students that will look up to you will feel the light you bring unto them. Being somebody, someone is the highest honor you can receive. It is the most good you can do. Always strive to be the teacher that empowers their students. As you walk across the stage today, you may be transitioning um, from an, education, oh, an educator to a master of education, poised to become a leader in your field. With this new honorable title, you now have more experiences and ideas that will help build your educational perspectives. As you do, I challenge you to become a lifelong learner. In my master's program, I learned that education is not limited. Education extends through horizons you may have never even dreamt of before. Being a mathematics educator, I had always considered utilizing STEM concepts as a form of integration, for example. However, graduate school said, what about other concepts too? I never would have thought to implement mindful meditation and mathematics until I had the opportunity to do so. My master's program opened that book for me. That is what education does. Education opens books, not just relevant to the content you teach, but also all of the books that make up the world. With all of these books to consider, all of the thoughtful research that educators have and will conduct, I will never stop learning. I will be a learner forever. I encourage you to think the same way. As you walk this stage today, you may be transitioning from a master of education to a doctor of education or philosophy, set to expand on what we know about how people learn and develop. With this beautiful, well-deserved title, I hope you remember that education is always about the students that we serve. As Kristen Shelton, a fellow graduate earning a doctorate in instructional leadership today says, during your program, you have given yourself the opportunity to grow and acquire the tools necessary to fight injustice and equity and marginalization in all corners of our world. Sage Malden, a fellow graduate who is earning a doctorate in adult and higher education adds, Education means promoting social cohesion and understanding as it exposes us to diverse perspectives, cultures, and ideas. 
It also means fostering empathy and understanding crucial qualities for navigating our contemporary landscape, which implores us to break down stereotypes and prejudices. I hope the learners you encounter continue to motivate you to keep striving for a more just and equitable world. My main inspirations are and always will be my current and former students. They will never know how much they push me every day to be the best human I could possibly consider being. I wish the world for each of them and strive to show them the love and kindness they deserve. That is what being an educator is about. To close, I would like to say thank you. I would like to thank the faculty and staff at the Janine Rainbolt College of Education for all of the love and support you have shown to all of us during our time here. Thank you for demonstrating what being an educator means. You have been incredible parts of our story that will impact us and our perspectives about education forever. I also would like to thank the people in the audience for coming here and supporting these bright educators. We are all so thankful for your support, for showing up for us and being a part of our journey. And finally, thank you to my fellow graduates. Thank you for sharing this journey with me. I know that we have so many different stories in this very room that got us here today. I want you to know that your story is important. Your story has probably had, had amazing highs and challenging lows, but both the highs and lows have gotten you to this point and made you the brilliant educator that you are. These highs and lows do not end today. Your story doesn't end. In fact, walking this stage today is the beginning of a new chapter, a chapter of which includes your story, but also that of the students and educators you surround yourself with. Let's make this chapter beautiful. Thank you. And now, and now we present the Janine Rainbow College of Education class of 2023. As our doctoral students walk across the stage, they will be hooded and presented with their diploma cover. Once they take their photos, they will return to the stage to sit among the faculty, signifying their admission to the academic community. At this time, I invite Associate Dean for Research and Graduate Studies, Ben Hetty, to the podium. Doctor of Philosophy and Adult in Higher Education, Dr. Rachel Lopo. Doctor of Philosophy and Adult in Higher Education, Dr. Sage Malden. <laughs> Doctor of Philosophy and Adult and Higher Education, Dr. Kylie Smith. Doctor of Philosophy in Educational, Educational Administration, Curriculum and Supervision, Dr. Michelle DeBerry. <laughs> Doctor in Educational Administration, Curriculum and Supervision, Dr. Seth Meyer. Doctorate in Educational Administration, Curriculum and Supervision, Dr. Josh Shandy. Doctor of Philosophy and in Instructional Leadership and in Academic Curriculum, Keeley Robertson.
Doctor of Philosophy and Instructional Leadership and Academic Curriculum, Kristen Shelton. Let's have a round of applause for all of our doctoral graduates. And now, we will recognize those receiving master's degrees. Masters of Education in Adult and Higher Education, Colby Deshawn. Eric Friesen. Connor Johnson. Akia Joyner. Amy Lemons. Rachel Moore. Tracy Renee Rodney. <laughs> Carrie Thomas. Now for a Master's of Education in Educational Administration, Curriculum and Supervision, Brandon Bennett. Anna Carrion Charquino. Celia Cat. Robert Cook. Ashley Duncan. Kristen Harris. Jennifer Illy. Joseph Smith. Brandy Wilsey. <laughs> Kyla Wright.
And now for a Master's of Education and Educational Studies, Anana Nadim. Masters of Education in Instructional Leadership and Academic Curriculum, Aaron Cavazos. Sonam Gurum. Kayla Lehman. <laughs> Justin McLeke. Chloe Rains. <laughs> Bria Sanders. Clara Wellington. <laughs> Masters of Education and Special Education Orlando Williams. Let's have a round of applause for all our Master of Education graduates. And now, Dr. Sherry Cox, Assistant Dean for Undergraduate Advising, will introduce the candidates for undergraduate degrees. We now introduce our Bachelor of Science in Elementary Education, Jasmine Rain Andre. Anna Grace Darrow. <laughs> Catherine Michelle Evans. <laughs> Philem Jane. Sarah LaSalle. <laughs> Dr. 
Jack Franklin Lilyquist. <laughs> Hannah Marie Ramirez. Sydney Brooke Reinhardt. <laughs> Melody Lynn Stowe. <laughs> Taylor Catherine Thompson. Courtney Renee Terman. We now present our Bachelor of, um, Bachelor of Science in Language Arts Education, Lacey Nicole Hill. Caitlin Horton. <laughs> Takunda Nashe Prince Cambiri. Ashley Page Knowles. Savannah Morgan Knutson. We now present our Bachelor of Science in Mathematics Education Catherine Riley Rainwater. We now present our Bachelor of Science in Science Education, Richard Gonzalez. Katie Elizabeth Kerber. We now present our Bachelor of Science in Social Studies Education, Audrey Sophia Flinnegan. J.C. Rayanne Doyle Lackey. <laughs> Logan James Nelson. <laughs> Dimitri Sean Rice. Cassidy Nicole Waldo. <laughs> we now present our Bachelor of Science in World Language Education, Justin Paul Mantel Cobb. We'll now wait just a moment here as we allow our final students taking pictures to return to their seats.
I am very proud to present the Janine Rainbow College of Education Class of 2023. Please join me in congratulating them. New graduates, you may now move your tassels to the left. Congratulations to the class of 2023. <laughs> to help us exit the auditorium efficiently, we ask that the audience remain seated as the new graduates and faculty recess down the aisles of the auditorium. You can meet up with your graduate outside the Catlett Music Center doors. This concludes the convocation ceremonies.